Casey Sarah, I play for the U of T women's volleyball team and Team Ontario Beach. Well, my dad, he started a volleyball camp for just the Estonians, and it was a great way to. Like it's a one week intense volleyball camp, eight, nine hours a day. And then we usually end up playing for another three <laughs> or so. So it's just a lot of reps, a lot of touches. And it's just, it's nice to be able to do something with the people you grow up with and the people you're always around. So it was, it's definitely helped me develop as a player. And my dad's definitely played a huge role in the development of my game and my mental ability both on and off the court. I definitely credit my dad for a lot of my, a lot of who I am as a player today. I started playing beach volleyball when I was about 14 and just peppering on the beach with my dad, my brother. Didn't take it too seriously until 16U, then came out to Timo, made it, trained full time all summer and that's when I fell in love with it. <laughs> this past Beach Nationals, I, Kelsey Beltman and I placed second, and though we didn't win, I still thought it was a huge accomplishment for me because two weeks prior to Nationals, I'd already injured my shoulder and torn my, um, torn the cartilage in there, so my shoulder was pretty much shot by that point. So the fact that we were able to push through and get to that point in the tournament was unbelievable. <laughs> Competing with an injury, um, like for like Kelsey and I this past summer, towards the end, um, I was primarily getting served, so I would pass quite tight and allow her to two ball, which would take me out of hitting, which saved my shoulder for when I did need to hit, and also was more effective. This is the first year in eight years I haven't played indoor. So it was a really big change. I had so much time on my hands. It was a big identity thing too because volleyball is like all I've really known for the majority of my life at this point so it was a really rough fall and really rough start to university. I had a slap 2C tear in my right shoulder so my hitting shoulder so the cartilage um, came off uh, the glenoid cavity so the ball socket in the socket um, the cartilage came off and it was torn from about like this is the cartilage from and until one. So this is a pretty big tear. Uh, so November 12th, I had surgery this year. Uh, repaired that. They cut the long head of my bicep and reattached it down in my armpit. So I lost half my bicep and it's more or less useless. Um, support from family, friends, uh, amazing physio staff at U of T and coaching staff. Even the team was very supportive and helped me through everything. So just a really good support system. I love the team, I love the program, amazing coaches from a variety of different aspects, uh, places and aspects of the game. Um, it's kind of hard to speak on it because I wasn't it, that involved this year due to injury, but um, I love the girls, I love the team, and I'll definitely go back and play next year. I found indoor has definitely helped my beach game. As a middle, I've learned to work around a block, hit the sharp, sharper angles. So I found that's really translated into my beach game. And when I started beach, I was a full-time blocker. Um, I did that for two, three, three seasons. And then I ended up slip blocking uh, with Amanda Harnett actually uh, two years ago. And that's really the first time I even attempted defending. And this past summer, did, I was a full-time defender. And it definitely makes you a better well-rounded player because if you're a defender, you do have points where you're stuck at the net. 
and being able to block, like, it's a huge advantage. This summer, my goals would be to um, just get back into everything, coming off of an injury, like, probably rebuilding my swing to prevent any injury, just building the strength, and obviously winning <laughs> anything I'd go for. So. My biggest strength as a player is probably my ability to just let go of what's happened and move on. Nothing, I'm a fool from what I've been told. I'm a pretty consistent player and I'm able to just let everything go and not much is getting to me. Stay in the present. You can't control what's happened. You can't control what you just did. Move on and focus on what you can do now as opposed to dwelling on what you did do. I love the independence you have on the beach. You really have to have a strong mental game to be able to play the game because you don't have coaching. There's only two of you on the court. If there's an issue during the game, like you have to figure it out. You can't have someone telling you what to do, how to do it. It is really like, it's kind of an individual sport in the sense, but I just like the independence you have and the freedom.